it anyway. So you got to do the alignment? Yep. First thing, just bring up your map and figure out an area you're working in. Okay. On the center line file here. I might be selected here in just a second. Properties of job. Point five. Center line point five. I didn't have it on. So. Trying to get the shrubs, uh, the center on point of all says it's light, yeah. It's easier if you do that anyways when you're actually going in there to do it. Just turn off all your files, uh -huh. files. <coughs> Go down, select just your center line, just real file. Start on point file right there. So, you ready to go take it and try it again. So you're working in this area right here, uh -huh. and you're working between point number 7523 and 7526. You remember those two numbers, but then you can go up here to this point, 7523. Well, make sure you turn that off or it won't let you select it. Go to review that point, and it's going to tell you what your station number is. Okay, it's going to tell you what your station number is right here at that point. You remember that, write that station number down, which is 453. Okay, and go into key in, alignments. You know your station was 453, plus balls, and your point number range, whatever that, those numbers, I don't know what they were right now. Do you remember 7243 or something? To 70, you know, whatever they were, 7247. Just, you know, guessing there. You put them in there, you name it, you put your what your first starting station number was on your first on your lowest point. Because okay. the point range will go up in station as it goes up. So if you do if you say you mess that up and you make that seventy two forty four and then that's the station starting station for seventy two forty three, that station will be wrong. Everything will be off. Correct. Gotcha. So you gotta make sure you got your route whatever that first point number is, the point that you click on. Mm hmm like a, go back to map here. 7523 was our point. It's okay. still lit up there. 7523. So you can just go. You don't want to go from 7523 to back to map again. You know, we're working from 7523. We want to go down to 7526. 7526. So, you know, your starting station is 453. You can name that. I'll name it. You know, this is your main line. Uh -huh. Point number 7523. Or even if you know your station number, you can put from station number 453 plus balls to whatever that way. When you look at it, you know that too. Because, you know, unless you know what the station is on that point, you know, it's just an easy way to keep track of it. Yeah. Or the, the station, either one, guys, use both. You hit enter. And you're done. You can put a code on there if you want it to be, you know, your center line file or whatever. There's, if there's anything in here, I've not even looked in here to see what all's in there. There's all kinds of stuff, evidently. But you know, 
that you don't have to put nothing in there for code. You hit enter, it stores it. Then whenever you go back into your uh, jobs, point manager, point manager, and you want to use that point. Like I said, you can get in order to select it for what you want to say. Here's the points I shot yesterday. Okay, if you go under options, it tells you that you're on alignment type and what point range you're in. Like I said, if you know you got the wrong one, you go down here, hit list. <clears throat> Find the one you just created. That's what you're looking for. Hit accept. And then when you go back in, it'll so then you crack have your to, Okay, up. so you have under, under display, you have station and offset selected. Right. Then if you go under display, station, station and offset. offset. And if you, want, if you need to get back to your coordinates, you just go to grid. And it'll bring up your. You know. Oh, that's another it, thing. If you go to grid too. And you got your, and your center line point files up here. That's like you know, say you need to know point numbers seventy, fifty three, or whatever. It's going to tell you what your so station if, number is on that as well. So if you shot, say you're in the thirty thousand point range, mm -hmm. you would still use the center line for that, whatever that is. That center line point file. So that's the only center line file we've got. Mm -hmm. Like I said, which is the reason some of our station is kind of weird, funky. Yeah. Right. But like I said, if you use that, like I said, you know, there's your 78, 28, 78, 34. It's giving you stationing on. So that's why before, yesterday I was doing like 130,000, whatever. That was wrong because it wasn't the center line points. Right. Okay. You got to use the actual center line point file with numbers in order to build your alignment. And then it'll tell you how far, whenever you're actually staking out your line you need, it gives you a station based off that center line file. And it'll tell you, like, if you want to. Point manager. It's about like my points. Go back to station and offset. Hey Mike. Scroll down. Is that gonna be enough space to get people to sure back to my phone? List. I'm gonna send me two to seven three hundred. Except everybody probably got stationary Easiest way to tell is when you're looking at your station. If you're more than, you know, you know, our line runs 17 foot off center line. Mm -hmm. If you're running, you know, more something than 17 says, foot. If, you know, if it's say, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 or whatever, you're fine. If you get something that says you're like 30,000 feet mm -hmm. offset, you're, way <laughs> you're off. on the wrong file. <laughs> so that's a good check is to check how far offset that line you are. Gotcha. So and that's it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome, buddy.